Yo, what is going on everyone? Guiding Light here, back with another quick Dead Island 2 video, and in this one I'll show you guys how to complete the Missing Jamal mission. So after collecting this from the Ocean Ave Hotel, fast travel your way back over to the mall area. Now all you have to do from here is simply follow the path that it'll tell you to take, and it'll tell you to go to the Hotel Guard Shacks. Now once you guys get here, the first guard shack is going to be right next to the entrance, but the door will be locked by a mag lock. Now in order to actually get in this, what you have to do is break two panels. Now there will be a few zombies in your way, so you can either just avoid them or take them out really quick. But you'll notice there's a small panel in the back. So take that out with any weapon you want. And then from here, there's actually another panel, but it's located on the inside. Now in order to break this panel, either throw a grenade inside or get a gun and, or throw your weapon simply through the window and break the other panel. So I'll show you guys me doing this really quickly once I take the zombie off of me. But you'll notice the panel's in there next to the door. Once you break that however you want, you'll be able to get inside and there'll be a few clues you need to collect. So go and collect these clues. After this, it will tell you to go over to a second guard shack and this one's located around the corner. So very quickly, I'll show you guys how to get to the next guard shack. So if you come around the corner here, make a right, you'll notice that there's a bus on the other side of the fence. So make a right, slide under this fence and then you'll notice that there's like a little bus here on the left. Go this way and you'll notice that there's another guard shack. Now the same thing applies here. You need to break the mag panels. So they're in the exact same place, just break the one in the back and then there's going to be one inside again. Once you've broken these panels, you can do the same thing, just simply go inside and there will be a little bit of a clue for you to follow. Now after you guys have collected this clue, you're going to actually have to make your way over to his truck. There may or may not be a few weapons for you dropped along the way, so sometimes it really is worth it taking out the bigger zombies. But either way, once you guys get rid of them go ahead and make your way down the street to the red truck now once you guys get here there will be a small little boss fight so if you want to wait for your grenades and stuff to charge up or make sure you have fury before you get here it may make it a little bit easier but come over here you'll notice that there's like a little sewer area and there's going to be a big zombie and then there's going to be an armored zombie and that is jamal so all you have to do is simply take out jamal he's going to drop a few items for you and you may also get a weapon drop as well. So hopefully this helps you guys out to get it done, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.